Only on 11 at 11, the holiday weekend isn't a time to celebrate for some, especially for a Washington County man who almost lost his life on the 4th of July. Tonight, our Michelle Newell shares his story and what he wants others to learn from his experience. And we want to warn you that some of the pictures might be too graphic for some of our viewers. Matthew Subitich is sharing his story publicly for the very first time because he is now ready to help others avoid what happened to him. I remember them rolling me over. I remember the screams. Every day there are reminders of that day. They told me that they had to amputate my thumb. Having one eye, I have double vision. Every hour there is pain. My hand hurts all the time. My face hurts all the time. Matthew Subitich can't do half of what he used to. It, it cost a lot. Subitich used to look forward to this time of the year. I absolutely love fireworks. He would often build modified mortar tubes. For years, we'd done everything right. I mean, we were reckless about things, but we, no one got hurt. But on July 4th of 2018, everything went wrong. I used the wrong size mortar. It was too powerful for it. It was not prepared for what I was doing. Subitich says he was also way too close to it. Maybe six to ten inches away from my face when it exploded. He says he lost just about everything. Before the accident, I was a proud, hard-working guy. Now it's just trying to read. <laughs> To you know, read instructions on cooking noodles is ridiculous. Subitich is sharing his story to help others avoid what happened to him. I should have never modified anything or changed anything other than what they give you. They give you the proper things to use it for, and I didn't do that. Use them properly. Follow the instructions. Stay away from buildings. Stay out of dry fields. Subitich told me he's actually leaving town for the holiday weekend. He will go somewhere secluded to avoid hearing fireworks. Now, he also told me although he can't work like he used to, he's been able to fulfill his dream of working in film. He says he already has a few gigs lined up. I'm Michelle Newell for Channel 11 News.